1812, U.S. Army invaded Canada. But after three days, they were so drunk and bored, they went home. <laughs> The, the Spring Break War, I believe it was called. <laughs> the War of the Long Weekend. <laughs> and since then, nobody's been mad at us. <laughs> it's true. You never hear a Shiite Muslim in the Middle East screaming, Canada! <laughs> Canada is Satan! You don't hear that, because we're not. We're Satan's little neighbor. We're like the annoying little brother of the U.S. Before they can attack anyone, they have to tell the United Nations, right? So the United Nations is kind of like the mother. You know, the U.S. is like, Mom, we're going to war. And the U.N.'s like, okay, but you have to take Canada with you. <laughs> But, Mom, they don't have anything. <laughs> well, let them play goalie. Nobody wants to go to war with us. That's what's great about being a Canadian. We can fight. We can kick some ass. Oh, yeah, but we just don't have any weapons. That's why nobody wants to go to war with us. What does our military have? A bunch of pickup trucks. That doesn't scare the enemy when you show up on their border with a bunch of pickup trucks. Quick, hide the firewood. Here come the Canadians. Well, it's not like we're a military power or anything. Let's face it, when it comes to defense, we're like Switzerland without the army knife. <laughs> what are Canadians proud of? Our mall. The West Edmonton Mall, the biggest shopping mall on the face of the earth. There's a water park in that mall, has three fully operational submarines, for the kids to ride in. Canadian Navy. <laughs> has two. <laughs> Fully operational submarines for the kids to ride in. <laughs> but if an enemy ship ever attacked that mall. <laughs> Never make it to the Gap. Well, I'm from Canada, but I live in the United States now. I had to move. I had to go. And the Americans are so different than us. We all speak the same language, but they're just weird, aren't they? <laughs> Two countries on the entire continent, us and them. And they, they we're very similar. I mean, we both have armies. <laughs> we just didn't give ours guns or anything. <laughs> Here comes the Canadian army with plastic knives and forks. <laughs> Flee the village. Uh-uh, we're the good Canadians. We're not tough. Look at our flag. It's a leaf. <laughs> oh, don't screw with Canada. We'll dry up and blow away. <laughs> Canada should just attack another country. Oh, man, no one would see that coming greatest coup in military history. <laughs> Lay low for 275 years. <laughs> then attack Turkey. <laughs> Just show up. Guess what? We're taking it. <laughs> and we're calling it chicken, you morons. <laughs> Turkey, what the hell kind of name is that for a country? We're moving on Chile next. Canada attacked the four major food groups today. 
Up next. Thank you. Merci. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> In keeping with the bilingual spirit, en gardant l'esprit bilingue, Everything I say in English, tout ce que je dirai en anglais, I will repeat in French, je le dirai aussi en français. Thank you very much. Domo arigato gozaimasu. When they asked me to do this festival, I said yes immediately. Quand ils m'ont demandé de faire ce festival, J'ai dit oui, mais seulement si vous me présentez uh, Mitsumi Takahashi. So I'm English. I'm English. I don't speak French at all. Right? Growing up in Montreal, I was always trying to avoid situations where I had to speak French, which was hard, you know, because my family was uh, French. I, for one, feel there is no greater calling than to make my fellow man laugh. Uh, J'aimerais bien mieux aller voir un combat du coq à Verdun. to the most sensible, normal, down-to-earth people in the world! <laughs> and that is why I'm conducting my business this evening in English! <laughs> Je ne parle pas français! <laughs> All right? The reason I'm using English, ladies and gentlemen, because English is, of course, the natural language of the human being. That's what you'll know. <laughs> thinks in English, don't they? Deep down. <laughs> Deep down in the human brain, everyone thinks in English. That's a fact. <laughs> That's why if you're in a foreign country, yes, say, perhaps speaking to a French person, and they can't quite understand you, the best thing to do is shout loudly in English! <laughs> then their brain will reverberate its original frequency. <laughs> this festival has produced dozens of sitcom superstars. Uh, ce festival a produit des centaines de losers. This is the only province in the country that has a minimum speed posted on the highway. <laughs> I love that. You, you people don't care if it's a hurricane, <laughs> drift and snow, I see patches. You keep that sucker over 60, <laughs> mister. Bonjour, Quebec. Step on it, Anglais. Actually, the first time I ever saw French and English labeling, I'm going through the grocery store with my new Canadian wife-to-be. I have no idea about French labeling. I, my kids were coming up that I'd had with my first wife. I actually pick up a package of Kool-Aid. I go, look at this. Look at this. What a stupid country you live in. Look at it. For some reason in Canada, they put raisins in the grape Kool-Aid. <laughs> That's going to suck. Why would they do that? She's got a pretty good sense of humor. She said, I don't know why they do that, honey. Well, why don't you ask the cashier? <laughs> and I met a woman from here, a, a French-Canadian woman, my fiance, Sophie. We're, we're going to get married very soon. And I got to tell you, <laughs> now I'm trying to learn French, right? French is a very difficult language. They drop all the letters at the end. Like, for instance, her name is spelled P-E-R-R-E-A-U-L-T. E-A-U-X. It's pronounced... <laughs> Every time I come back, though, I, I forget that I don't speak French. Yeah, you think I'd remember. You know, I know enough to get by. Like, I know we, oui, no, well, because I vote. <laughs> I know enough to get by. Like, I know uh, bonjour. Salut, bye. <laughs> Combien pour la danse? I know that one. Uh, <laughs> just the stuff I use every day. <laughs> the only French I really know is I call it Saint Leonard French. 